Are you trying to grow your YouTube channel and you're overwhelmed by all of the things? Today I'm going to share the top five tools that every YouTuber should be using to make scaling your channel so much faster and a lot easier. What's better than that? These tools have all been lifesavers and time savers for me and I can't wait to share them with you. What's up is Andy, your guide to authentic video. If you haven't yet, be sure to grab my starting on YouTube cheat sheet and let's dive in. The first top free tool that you need to be using on YouTube is Airtable. Now let me tell you, Airtable is amazing. Why is it so amazing? It makes organization for your channel so much easier. Now I use Airtable to map out all of my content and I try and usually be at least two weeks ahead of time. I'll usually have one to two months worth of video ideas already laid out and then I'll add in my shorts there as well. If you haven't yet watched my step-by-step -step YouTube shorts process video, I highly recommend giving it to watch after this. But Airtable is a game changer. I put all my keywords in there. I put my thumbnails in there, my scripts, everything. So it's all in one place. And if you have a team, you can share your Airtable with them. They can comment within it. It is wonderful. I highly recommend it. If you've thought about Airtable versus Notion, I just find Notion kind of confusing. There's too much to it. Airtable is really simple and it's going to make organizing all of your content so much easier. The next top free tool that you need to be using is TubeBuddy for optimization. Now, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you've definitely heard me talk about TubeBuddy because I am obsessed. It is so helpful in understanding what people actually want to watch from you. Now, it's great to make videos on topics you want to be talking about, but you want to make sure that people are actually searching and interested in those topics as well. And so that's where keyword research becomes really key. And TubeBuddy has this awesome feature called Keyword Explorer, and it allows you to actually figure out the likelihood that your channel would show up in certain search phrases. Let's say you wanted to make a video on crochet tips using the Keyword Explorer tool. You may find out that crochet tips for beginners in 2023 is a much better title for you to be using than just something more standard. Now on TubeBuddy's free plan, you get 25 searches a day for their Keyword Explorer tool. But if you upgrade to their paid plan, which I highly recommend, then you get unlimited searches. And their paid plan is only like five bucks a month. And I think if you have less than a thousand subscribers, that is 50% even off of that. So we'll definitely check it out. I've linked it up above. The next top tool that you need to be using on YouTube, it's a little controversial, so stick with me here, is ChatGPT, or using AI to help make it easier to scale your channel. Now, I need to preface that AI should be used as a tool to help enhance your channel, not as the backbone of your channel. So you really wanna make sure that you're not overusing it because if you overuse it, you're gonna create cookie cutter content. I like to use AI in ChatGPT. I actually have a more favorite AI tool that I use that I'll get into in a second here to help me write better titles, to help me get ideas for hooks, to help me enhance my scripts. But I would never ever use AI to actually write out a script because think about it, if your competition's getting all their ideas and writing all their scripts from ChatGPT, you're gonna be creating all the same content. So you wanna bring your own fresh ideas and just use it to make things better. You could even put your script in ChatGPT and say like, what are some things that I could add here? Or how could I make this more engaging? That's so wild. AI is crazy. Is it going to take over the world one day? Probably. Oftentimes for me, I will use TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer tool to think of some title ideas and then I will take that title idea and I will pull it into ChatGPT and I will say, write 10 better titles than this one. And it'll give me more ideas of different titles that I could do that have maybe better adjectives or more of a poll that's going to get more clicks. And so it's a great way to really enhance your ideas. You can also use ChatGPT to write keyword heavy descriptions, but always make sure when you're using it for descriptions that you add in your own personality, your own ideas, and so you humanize it. There have been articles put out saying that YouTube really prefers human generated content over AI generated content. It'll try and like put down AI generated content within the search engine. But if you're only using AI as a tool and you're adding things into the descriptions it's writing and adding in your personality and not just straight copy and pasting, then you are a-okay. Now, like I said, my favorite AI tool is not ChatGPT. It's actually called Hypotenuse AI, but it's not free. So that's why I made it all about ChatGPT. GPT. Hypotenuse is 30 bucks a month, so it can be a little bit pricey if you're just starting out on your channel, but their algorithm is coded with the top copywriting techniques and strategies. It's so wild. I actually met with people from their team and asked them questions to learn how I could be better using it in my business, and it blew my mind. They've got this blog tool where you can literally like add in facts and articles from the internet. They also have a YouTube titles and descriptions feature that I love to use all the time to help me write out better hooks and descriptions 
descriptions. And Hypotenuse AI is up to date with the current search engine, whereas ChatGPT is only up to date until 2021. So if you got a little extra money to spend, I would definitely recommend checking out Hypotenuse and you can get a seven day free trial by using my Hypotenuse link. Ooh, I'm literally trying to figure out like how I can work for this company. They are amazing. I don't know, I'm obsessed. So the next top tool that you need to be using as a YouTuber is Canva. But hold up, there are three ways that I recommend you use Canva and I bet you're not using all three. So stick with me. Now you've definitely probably heard of Canva before. It is like the best tool to make graphics and do some social media marketing. There's a paid version and a free version and all these three things you can do on Canva's pro version. Now the first one is creating your thumbnails. Thumbnails are the windows to the soul of your YouTube videos are so important. And so you can use Canva's amazing YouTube thumbnail templates to get some great ideas and make really eye catching thumbnails. Now another great option for thumbnails if you really hate creating them is going on Fiverr. You can have somebody make thumbnails for you for like $5 a thumbnail if you're wanting more intense graphics with more advanced edits then Fiverr is the way to go. I've had a guy do a couple of mine for like five bucks and they're so good. So check out Fiverr. I digress, back to Canva. Canva is also great for adding graphics into your video. So like, let's say you want a graphic of a bird, boom. I got this from Canva. It's so cute, right? You can take graphics. I like to put them in presentation size in the design. It's 16 by nine. And then you add in the graphics that you want and then you can save it and click transparent so that only that image shows up. Now, in order to save things with a transparent background, you have to have the paid version. But let's say you only have the free version, just download the picture with a regular background. And then you can go to Google and search background remover and then it will make the background transparent for you. So you're still able to use these graphics with a transparent background. It just takes an extra step. I honestly really recommend just upgrading to Canva Pro because it's so worth it. I'm in it literally every day in my business. Super helpful for your channel, social media in general, but totally up to you. Now, the last way that I love to use Canva on my YouTube channel is for B-roll. Did you know there was like really amazing B-roll and video that you can be using for your channel on Canva? Like this is from Canva. Ooh. So what you'll do is again, you'll go to presentation size, you'll find a nice video under elements and video, and then you can download that and then place it into any of your video editing softwares. Pretty cool. Now, if you want a full breakdown of how I add in images from Canva into my videos, definitely check out this video where I take you through step-by-step -step how you can do that. Now, going along with this, the next top free tool that you need to be using for your channel is Pexels. The first time I found Pexels, my mind was blown. Pexels is amazing B-roll that is totally copyright free that you can use in your videos. Now I prefer to use Pexels B-roll over Canva B-roll just because I think there's a bigger selection and there's a bigger selection because there are videos and images shared by creators. And so it's wonderful. You can go into Pexels, search up the type of B-roll you're looking for. You can then also filter out the orientation, whether you want it for a short or for a regular video. And it's wonderful. You can search through all these different images, download them and add them into your videos. Like look at some of these let's look at some of this amazing pexels b-roll totally would recommend now that you know my top five favorite tools you are ready to start scaling that channel if this video was helpful for you it's so helpful for me if you give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and while you wait for next week's video check out my full step-by-step -step youtube shorts creation process and i'll see you next time bye